Hi, I'm Roddy Cuthbertson. I work at uh, Oak Bank Products and I do most of the production here. That's everything from sort of the making of the sealing wax, right down to the little wax seals we do for people like McAllen. I've worked with wax on and off my whole life. It's actually my dad that started this company years ago, so when I was coming up at weekends when I was a little guy helping him make little wax seals. My name's Robbie Corbett. I'm the business manager for Oak Bank Products. Taking care of the customers is a priority for me, really. So our wax is a little bit easier to work with, a bit malleable, it's easier to use. Yeah, it's actually it's evolved quite a lot even since I started working here. It bends in shape, it's not brittle, it's easy to work with. We find that usually when a client comes, they actually are looking for something specific. We can obviously match colours to everyone, any specification. You could just hand us a piece of cardboard or a piece of leather and we can match to it. If somebody pays for a colour match, then that colour is then specific to them, so nobody else can use that colour. So like Sipsmith Green that they've got here, that's their green, so nobody else can use that green. It's their specific colour, the only they can use in their bottles. If a client goes to a bottling hall and says, I want this colour of wax, the bottling hall usually say you should go to Oak Bank Products because they like to work with our wax, it's easier for them to use. We actually go out and dip bottles for clients and we'll dip their bottle or seal it with some sealing wax and stamp it with their logo. Like whenever I go to the airport, I always get in trouble off the whoever I'm with because I want to go look at the rare whiskies in the in the cabinet. I go, that's our wax and that's our wax. And it really helps our reputation if someone asks, well, who have you worked with? How good is your wax? And you say, well, we've worked with McAllen and we've done William Grant's and we've done all the, the big names you can really think of. Well, that was the second year we went to the Spirit Summit. We're still new in this, uh, in this industry. So it's good going out there and putting faces to people I've worked with before. The actual amount of companies and businesses that actually work with whiskey is quite small. So the industry is big but the community is pretty small. So there's a lot of times where you'll speak to someone on the phone for a few months and then you go to one of these events and you bump into five or six people that you've spoken to a million times you've never met them before. Because everybody at the Spirit Summit works closely in our industry so it's good to speak to people and find the potential new business opportunities. We've actually made a few sales for, off the back of it just because people had been looking to get in touch with us and just kind of never got around to it and then when we were there they thought there was the opportunity. Every year we're getting more clients, more potential business opportunities so it's just trying to keep on top of all them as well as uh, keeping the stuff going that we've already got. We're growing faster than we really expected to so it's trying to catch up and make sure we've got things in place. There's really no complaints about it.